Welcome back to Press On Mobile Coffee. Today I'm cutting out the service window on our travel trailer and stay tuned so you don't miss the most important tip when converting one of these older travel trailers. Say press on. Can you say coffee? Coffee? Yeah. <laughs> So first things first, when installing a service window, uh, what to consider is the accessibility for the customer. So overall height, I don't like my window really high up where you're looking down at the customer. I wanna be um, as close to eye level as possible, so. That's sometimes hard to attain when you're in a trailer and you're already lifted up over the Yeah, so one sidewalk. thing that's nice about these older travel trailers, they do sit a little lower. That is the, one of the benefits to having a travel trailer versus a actual truck, like an old box truck, because they sit up much higher usually. Um, so this is a good starting point, as you can see here. The level of this is nice. Um, inside, it's ex exactly 36 inches from the bottom of this window to the floor, which is traditional countertop height too, which is nice. Something else to consider as well, you could always put in a bigger window, it's not easy to put in a smaller service window. If you're gonna change the starting point of where your window begins, so say if I move this over, you're gonna have this void that you need to fill, which means finding siding to match to fill that void, uh, which you could find, but then you're gonna have a weird seam there. Um, one thing you could do, which I was considering, if I do wanna move this over, you could do a nice wide piece of um, trim, three or four inches, just to give you a little more room here, because this window right now is, uh, actual window itself is about 15 inches. Ideally, I'd like to have a 24 inch window. If I start over here and go 24, I'm outside the actual trailer, that's not gonna work. If I start it over, I need to come in about to here, realistically, if I did wanna go with the 24 inch window. So there's this giant space here that I would have that would just be open. I need to fill that somehow. So probably not gonna work for a 24 inch window here. I'm gonna have to go with something a little bit smaller. Something we learned from our first trailer we converted is on these old travel trailers, the doorways are really narrow. Um, this one in particular is uh, just under 22 inches. About the same on our first trailer as well. And we tried and tried and we could not get our mini fridge through the door. Uh, even if we took the door off, it just wasn't happening. We still need a couple more inches. So, very, very important that when you cut your window out, that's the time when you wanna put your big equipment through the window uh, to get it inside there because it's really gonna be the only time you can. Realistically, you may be able to fit that equipment through your finished service window, um, but you take the risk of damaging your finished product and you might actually need those extra inches that you lose when you put the trim work on. One of the items that you'll probably want to stick through the window as well when you have it cut open is cabinets. So if you're not going to build the cabinets yourself inside the trailer, there's no way you're going to get them through the door, just like your other appliances. Most cabinets are 24 inches deep if you're going traditional cabinets. Um, those are not going to fit through the door and that's the most narrow part of the cabinet unless you're doing like really small upper cabinets, but you're not going to use those for the base. So it's going to be really important to get those through the window if you are going to use pre-made cabinets. So be mindful when you're picking out your trailer, if you are gonna go with one of these rounded trailers, um, it could really limit your window space overall where you're gonna locate it because of the height that you're playing with. If you decide to go with a square trailer, it's not gonna be as much of a problem because you're gonna have much more room around the window. This is the interior location of the service window. So this is where you're going to order. And then we're gonna put another smaller window in over here and this is where we're gonna do order pickup. Having two windows keeps the line moving. That way the person isn't waiting in front of the order window for their drink. Originally today I wanted to install the interior paneling and insulation. With the interior walls still open, now is a good time to build your window frame for your service window. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark where my service window is gonna be cut out. I'm gonna cut that out and then after doing so, then I can figure out where I'm gonna frame the window. Be mindful um, for your countertop height inside here because you don't want it to really sit above your window where it's opening. Um, I'm gonna actually try to, since this is 36 inches, I'm gonna actually try to have my countertop be right in line with the bottom of my, of my window and possibly extend out the window a little bit as a shelf. So whatever window you do decide to put in, whether it's custom or a pre-made window, just be mindful of the weight. 
because these wall studs can only hold so much weight. Okay, bear with the sound, it might be a little windy here, but this is the window I cut out. It's 36 by 20. Couldn't go much higher, because I'd get into this here, and I couldn't go much further that way, unless I'd have too big of a gap to fill here. I got a three inch space here, which I can cover with trim after I fill this out here. I did realize I could use part of what I cut out if I need to to patch in that too, but I think we'll be just fine using trim. That it goes all the right way around there. Overall, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I just finished framing out the service window. Basically what I did after cutting out the size I wanted was just put new wood supports all around. I beefed up the side of the windows using some, uh, basically a two by, two by ones are like inch and a half by two inches just to give a better support for the hinges um, and then a new kind of top plate over the window as well and it turned out really nice uh, today we are framing in our service window pretty much the same way we did it on our first trailer so we already made a video for installing a service window on our previous trailer so check that video out for a more detailed explanation of how to do so only difference is we are using these trim head screws here, which I highly recommend. Great uh, screws, they don't split the wood, um, really easy to use. Uh, and then the other difference um, is this countertop extends fully outside the window. So it's the countertop and the shelf are one, whereas before we had our cabinet and then our shelf kind of mounted on top of that. So it sat up a little bit and then we had to put brackets underneath. Uh, but this one's great because this is acacia wood, so it's actually indoor-outdoor wood, so it'll hold up much better in the elements. It comes pre-stained, uh, depending on what color you want, and then there's a hard oil wax that you put a couple coats on uh, to make it more durable. Again, my name's Anthony with Press On Mobile Coffee. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be really happy to answer those for you. And make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on future content and you can follow us along on the build out process. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. When you trim out Bye. your nose. You might actually Bibbidi need <laughs> Liberty Boobity.